All right, guys, welcome back to the Toy Hunter channel. We are going to do something a little different today. We're gonna to go inside the Dollar Tree and we're gonna check out the best items I can find for camping, hiking, backpacking, that kind of thing right here. Now, it is important to note that because it is 2022, everything in the Dollar Tree is now $1.25. Um, at least out here in California, the prices have changed. I noticed that the other day when I was here. And uh, yeah, so it is now the $1.25 tree. Let's go check it out. Okay, there's always a plethora of Tupperware and baskets and bins and that kind of thing. Um, and these are really good. This is a three pack of these little SureFresh reusable um, Tupperware pieces. And I actually use these for a lot of things. I use these for my tea bags and coffee, instant coffee, um, as well as hot chocolate. I also do put aspirin, Tylenol, um, sleeping pills, that kind of thing in here as well. All these store nicely in my cabinet and my Westphalia and all for $1.25. This is actually new. I haven't seen one of these, but it's just a little miniature little bin. Um, I mean, we all have these probably in our garage or in our bedrooms or closets for shoes and whatnot. Here's just a little tiny drawer one. Very cute. I don't know what I'd use it for, but I'm sure I could find something. All right, this is probably an obvious one, but toilet paper. And I like that these come in these little single packs right here. Um, they fit nicely in my cabinet inside my Westphalia camper van. Um, and they're great because, like I said, you don't have to carry around big loads of toilet paper. And they're wrapped, safe, ready to go. This one now, same thing, um, but this one has a paper outside, which is probably not great if you're going to be hiking or you need toilet paper outdoors or anything. Um, I do prefer this one because it has the plastic liner, so it'll stay water safe. And it can just sit in your cabinet until you're ready to use it. All right, just browsing along, and I came across these little miniature wooden clothespins. They're 1.87 inches, so about inch and three quarters. Um, used for lots of things. Clothes on your clothesline, um, pinning down, you know, uh, your tablecloth to the table or something like that. But very small, and this is a 24 count. And yeah, I mean, I can see lots of uses for these uh, out on the campground if you if you need it. I don't do any kind of washing there, but um, if you do need to hang up towels or your swim trunks or anything like that, these are perfect. Okay, now this is something that I do have in Westphalia, and it is something that a lot of people wouldn't think to use for. But if you're in this little, you know, painting um, craft section over here, they have these little applicator bottles, right? Little two pack. And what I use these for is for oil, um, cooking oil. So like olive, olive oil, cooking oil, that kind of thing. It has a lid that does screw on um, and tightens and closes. But instead of carrying a giant bottle of, you know, cooking oil, you can just throw it right in here, put your cooking oil in here, label it, and you're good to go. Right into your cooking pan for your, you know, your outdoor needs for your camper or whatever. These are absolutely perfect and they hold plenty for a nice little, you know, camping trip wherever you're going. All right, guys, as you come out here to the hardware and the home and lighting section and the electronics section, you're going to find a ton of things that are going to help you out. And I came here for a specific reason, and these are actually what gave me the inspiration for this video. And that is these LED push lights. I was extremely skeptical because they are, you know, a Dollar Tree item. Um, it has a manual on-off button, 80 lumens, and it runs off of three AAA batteries. Uh, the cool thing is it has a handle on the back, and it also has some, um, it's not 3M double stick tape but it is, it is a self-adhesive tape where you just peel it off and stick it to wherever you want I got two of these guys I put them on my Westphalia camper van and they are absolutely fantastic I use one above my stove for lighting uh, for cooking and I put another one kind of sideways kind of to shine on me as I'm cooking to kind of give me more light in the videos that I've been making um, and they are great so I'm actually back to grab a couple more because these are a very silent score now in the same section they have these headlamps and I was skeptical again about these headlamps so I grabbed one um, and I gotta say the light itself they do run off three AAA batteries but the light itself is fantastic it has three modes it has bright a little bit dimmer and then it has flashing as well um, and but I gotta tell you it is super bright it gives a nice flood and I am extremely extremely impressed with how well these work now the headband is a little janky I won't lie um, it's not the best but it didn't fall down, it didn't slide, it didn't loosen, it just didn't feel amazingly perfect. But for a dollar, well, a dollar twenty-five, you cannot beat it. Um, I'm gonna grab a few more of these for the couple, both of my cars actually. I'm gonna grab a couple for my Westphalia, a couple for my four-wheel drive, 
And yeah, I'm gonna use the heck out of these because they are fantastic. Okay, and one more thing I grabbed the other day while I was here are these. And these are not great, but they're usable. I'm just gonna grab one here. And what this is, is let me just try to get the tag for you. This is an emergency rechargeable flashlight. So there's a little handle here that you can squeeze uh, while you're out on the road or wherever you're at and you can give yourself some light. Now it's not a great bright light. It doesn't give off a ton. It doesn't have a lot of distance, but it is a light nonetheless. So maybe as an emergency backpacking item, it'll work, but it wasn't great. So here is the light itself. So you can see that the light is not that bright. It's just, you know, it's just okay. And, but then when you squeeze, you see this little mechanism. And I guess this is how you recharge your light when you're out and about. Um, it doesn't say anything about batteries, so I don't know if it runs off batteries, or if when it dies, you just have to keep squeezing this to make the light recharge. But it does work, and hey, you know what? It could be useful at some point, maybe out and about. Okay, coming back to these headlamps, like I said, these lights are absolutely fantastic. I really do like them. Um, and I have another use for them as well. And I might try it today um, on my Envoy, my four-wheel drive that I use. And the idea I have is to use this instead of that push lamp I have. Um, just because I feel like this is going to give me the more proper light that I want. And the plan is to use these, let me pull this off, super glue foam mounting tape so they're cut into little uh, squares already little pieces which will fit perfectly on the back of this headlamp um, and I want to stick it the same way that push lamp would stick onto my rear trunk door when I open it that way I can have some down light on me um, and I think that this light gives off just a little bit better light than the other one um, but I don't know and I also like that this is red uh, my whole car theme is red so I might try that so if you put these two together and you don't like the headlamp band you can use some of this and create a stickum light and put it anywhere. And then you have a couple different modes. So just an idea to throw out there. All right, and as you get over to like the cleaning section, you're gonna find something that's very useful and that is these little miniature bottles of dish soap. So we have a palm olive here and we have Dawn here and you can see side by side that, I don't know, oh, someone spilled something there, but they are miniature in size compared to the normal size. So these are perfect for your camper van or your little uh, mess kit that you bring when you're uh, out cooking and camping. Um, it's perfect because it's gonna get you through the weekend easily, if not more. Um, but instead of having the big giant bottles like you normally would have, let's go grab one. Here's a regular bottle of dish soap, right? Compared to the little miniature ones, that's what you got. So instead of bringing this or bringing something else that you would put soap in, Get yourself one of these. These are perfect. Okay, so something else that they have here that I see a lot, but a lot of people don't really use them, um, are these little mesh laundry bags. So they have a couple different ones. This one is a three pack, and this one I think is a single pack with just a bigger sack. Um, and these are great, so you can put all your dirty clothes in, kind of just keep them a little organized and out of the way while you're out camping in your tent or in your RV or your camper van or whatever you're using. This will just help keep the dirty clothes a little bit more organized. All right, so aside from like, you know, your snack bags, your sandwich bags, your large slider, like gallon bags, that kind of thing. The one thing that I do love and that I, that I have in all my kits are these. So they have these little bags of garbage bags. So there's 22 garbage bags. They're tall size in here. Um, and they're just in this little itty bitty bag. So they're kind of perfect. Um, they have different scents if you need that. Uh, let's go over here. They have another one here. This is a vanilla scent. Or they have a, let's see, this has got to be lemon. But these are absolutely perfect. Oh, this one has 40 bags actually in there. So these are, um, are these a little bit smaller than these ones? 13 gallons, 4 gallons, yes. But these are the small garbage bags. And these are the large ones. This is going to be 13 gallon garbage bags. So like kitchen size. So perfect though. These are exactly what I use for all my garbage needs. And they don't take up any space at all. Now we all love to cook while we're camping. That is kind of where I become a gourmet chef. And right now, and I haven't seen these before here, but they have these serving trays um, where you basically have the lid for both of them. This one is a two pack, but you're gonna keep your food nice and warm and you're gonna keep bugs and flies and all that stuff out of your food um, as opposed to like normally I have one of these, actually a smaller, I use one of these. Oh wait, look at This one actually has a cover with it. That's nice. I don't remember seeing ones with covers here. Usually they always had just the ones that were like this. Then you had to use, you know, aluminum foil to cover it. 
but now they have the larger ones so you can cook up whatever you need to and this one actually has a cover but i do like these smaller ones these ones are great because you could put kind of leftovers in here as well and shove them in your cooler or your fridge and keep them for later very cool and i haven't seen these yet here so i might grab some and kind of store them away for all the camping adventures coming up next here is a different one. Oh my god let me just grab this one here's a square size so they have different sizes square and round and yeah very very cool and these are new i haven't seen these yet i'm excited all right you're gonna have tons of storage options with containers buckets that kind of thing but let me show you this this i have in my westphalia van and this is what uh, fits in my little drawer for my oh, hold on, that's too many let me get one of these out of here there we go so this is a three pack of these little storage organizers. And what I use these for are my forks, knives, spoons, that kind of thing. So just a cute little basket, little three pack, $1.25. And they have blue and white right now at this store. Um, I do have white in my Westphalia, but this goes in my little drawer where I have all my kitchen utensils, um, cookware, that kind of thing. And it fits perfectly right inside the one little little cubby hole side and there is another one that i have let me see if up oh, there it is right here this is the one i have for the larger things so i have some different like spatulas and stuff that are miniature size and i keep them in this one this one fits on one side of my drawer it will not fit on the other side so that's why i use this other one right here for the other side so these two right here hold all my kitchen utensils perfectly Okay, so I have a 1987 Volkswagen camper van. Um, so I do have storage, but it's not huge. And if you look at this kitchen section, they have a ton of stuff. Spatulas, knives, serving stuff, all kinds of things, right? But if you come down to this little area, they have these little itty bitty spatulas or food turners, that kind of thing. I mean, they are super tiny. They're like the size of a fork. They have these super tiny tongs as well which I use in my Westphalia. Actually, all this stuff, guys, that I'm showing you right now, I have in my Westphalia. Um, here's a spatula, and they're rubberized as well, so they're going to be safe for your nonstick pans and whatnot. Um, they also have a basting brush, and they also have, like, a serving spoon kind of thing. So instead of carrying around, let me get a regular spatula. Hold on. Let's get a spatula. Here we go. Here's a spatula. So here is a spatula, okay? And let's compare it to this one. Let me find somewhere better to compare it to. Here, let me just hold it in the air. All right, there we go. So there's your regular size spatula. And there's the little tiny miniature sun that I use in my van. Pretty cool, right? So you can see why I do that because I do only have a little bit of space to store items in. Um, and these kind of work really, really well. And I'm just, I don't know, I like them. They also have these little whisks. Look at that, baby size whisks. They have these knives. Oh, they didn't have these when I was here the other day red my camper van is all red and gray so anytime i see anything red i get excited this is just a regular knife it doesn't say what it's for um and then here is a little ladle i have a little ladle in my camper van as well and i love it it's just perfect for serving up anything really so just keep an eye on these little miniature items that they have down here at the bottom if all these big things are too much for what you need all right continuing on in the kitchen essentials section um all of us camp and eat at picnic tables well if you look close enough you're gonna get lucky and you're gonna find some table clamps so this is gonna hold down all your um, your table covers that you have for the picnic tables and that way they don't blow around in the wind you don't have to use tape or bring anything else like that um, this place right now only has three packs so it might be something to keep an eye on or look out for because it does seem like it might be a hot item um, but I didn't know that they had them here um, or at least I haven't seen them here before so that's something always good to keep an eye on all right and one last item in the same section um, this is a primary fork and spoon little kit and it's really cool because they're plastic so they're easily washable and they do connect together they like snap together kind of like a Lego it's kind of a trip um, this place only has two right now in stock I do have a few sets of these in my backpacking gear um, they work perfectly lightweight and they're exactly what I need so um, keep an eye out for these if you find them grab the ones you like if not keep an eye out for something else but these are perfect for backpacking camping that kind of stuff and yeah lightweight dollar 25 now okay coffee cups all that kind of thing but if you have the luxury of enough storage these are actually pretty cool um, these are little food trays let me pull one out here so it has a fork, knife, and spoon, a little place for your cup, and then you put your plate there so it doesn't fall around. And this does fit on your lap nicely and just kind of sits there. 
So it's somewhere for you to hold your food while you're sitting around the fire at a camping chair and just kind of relaxing and uh, not having to worry about your food fall over or anything like that. But you do need the storage space for that. So if you got an RV or a camper van that you can fit this in, this is pretty cool. Or if you can fit it in your, you know, your, your travel kitchen bucket that you bring uh, camping with you, that might work too. Okay, now I know these aren't like bear proof or anything like that, but if you need food storage bins for backpacking or anything like that, they have these in right now. And these are extremely, extremely nice. Very cool. They have a little handle, as you can see right there. Um, they're not bear proof. They are just plastic, but they are super lightweight. Um, I took the top off of this one just to show you the inside of the lid. Um, so there's no sealant, so food smell will get out. Um, but if you are backpacking and you're not worried about bears or anything like that, and you maybe just hang your food in a tree, this is kind of a perfect little storage container to, to put in your bag and kind of just, uh, I don't know, just store your food nicely. So um, it's nice and deep, and yeah, it's pretty big. Let me get a wine glass just to show you the height difference. But yeah. These will work really nicely uh, for backpacking or camping if you need some kind of food storage for something. Okay, coming back to all the storage containers, uh, I was looking for something that I have um, in my van but couldn't find. And I did find a larger version though, and that is this. So they have these little caddies here that are divided. So this one has three different sizes. So it's got like a small, medium, and large area. But what these are great for are your shower caddies. Um, you can use it as a shower caddy for your, you know, your soap, your shampoo, your, uh, you know, sponges or whatever you're using to kind of clean your body. Um, and these are great to kind of just keep around and put all your, all your shower stuff in. Now, it's also good for kitchen table stuff. So like on your picnic table, this side right here is plenty of room to fit, you know, plates if you need to or napkins, uh, forks, knives, spoons, utensils. Grab yourself one of these and you can kind of put everything in there. Just leave it on your, on your picnic table for the entire weekend while you're camping. They're very useful in many different ways. I know a lot of us know that the Dollar Tree has a lot of food and snacks and all kinds of stuff. But what we forget about is that they have seasoning. And this is great seasoning to keep in your camper van or your RV because, you know, it, it's a little bit less expensive. Um, but the bottles are honestly just a tiny bit smaller than the ones in the store. So here's like a garlic and herb one by Kingsford, right? So this is a legit barbecue company making a legit season. So that's pretty nice. They also have another one over here. Where is it? What was I looking for? I thought I saw one. Here it is. Same one, Kingsford. And they have a lemon pepper. So, and like I said, these bottles are just a little bit smaller than like a store one. So let me show you the difference actually. So here's the lemon pepper right here. And then here is a regular size, you know, grocery store bottle. So you see that difference? That is a huge difference when it comes to storage space. I use a spice rack kind of thing that I use um, and had custom built in my Westphalia. This will not fit. This will. So something to keep in mind. And look at this. We've got pink Himalayan salt and just kind of the others, the same little skinny narrow. Let me switch that again. Put it next to the regular size. But look at fine Himalayan pink salt. That is so much healthier for you than regular salt. And look at in a smaller bottle, nice and thin, and will fit. So there's the difference. You see the difference? I love that. That totally helps out when you're out on the road and you have just limited space for all your camping, seasoning, cooking needs. All right, guys, now one last thing to show you, and this one is perfect for all camping, no matter tent camping, you're in an RV, camper van, no matter what it is, this can come in handy. Look at this. They have a little miniature sized dust pan and broom, little push handle broom thing, majigger. Very cool, um, little dust pan brush set. So perfect to get like dirt out of the tent, dirt out of the doorway of your um, you know, RV, that kind of thing. And it is small, it is super small, so that's perfect to just carry around for that kind of stuff, right? Keep a nice clean area so you don't have dirt in your bed, dirt tracking all over your RV, no matter what it is. Very cool, something to keep an eye on. I do only see blue, but I think they probably will have other colors at some point, but something to keep an eye on. And again, $1.25 now. All right, I picked up a few items, and there you go. There's a kind of, just kind of a few things that I ran into on my little treasure hunt for camping gear at the Dollar Tree. Um, so there you go. There's January. I'll come back next month because things do change quite often there. So we'll do another video in February on camping items we can find next month. Take care. All right, guys, so I want to do a lighting test with you with those little push lights that I was telling you about uh, earlier in the video. Now, for lighting in my Westphalia, this is what I have right now. Um, all I have here is a little, it's one of those little switch lights. It looks like a light switch. 
but it lights up the Westphalia actually pretty good. So you see my little camper set up in the, the stove area where I cook, right? But when I'm filming, I need better light because this is obviously not good. So check it out. First of all, let me go ahead and give you this one right here. Okay, so here's the stove setup, right? And all I have on right now is that one light. Um, usually I will put on something else, but let me go ahead and just show you how effective this one light is on the stove. Now, it's only going to hit half of it because it is kind of far away, but it does help out a lot. So when you have the light and you push it on, it helps a lot over here, especially on this table and on that side of the stove. Now, it's still a little bit dark over here, so I do want to figure out something for there, but I think this might actually help as well. So the other light I put right here. So it's right here underneath next to where my air vents are for my air conditioning. And let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys what it looks like once it's on, especially on me. All right, so here's me. I got light on one side of the face because of that. And if I turn, I have no light on me at all, obviously, right? So let's go ahead and let's turn on this little push light. And look at that. Totally, completely lit up right there. Now if I turn, I have actually pretty good lighting over here. You don't need light on that side of the face. Anyway, it's because I'm going to be facing this way while I'm doing my little cooking and all that other stuff, right? So that light actually works really well there. And then let's turn around so you can see the stove area because that light helps with the stove as well. All right, so there's the one light there. There's the second light underneath right there. And the stove is lit up a lot better now. I can co totally see everything that's going on. And when I'm cooking, you guys can be able to see me nicely. So there's an update on the two little push lights. So here's push light number one. Let's watch it go dark over here. And then push light number two. We'll watch it go dark over here as well. So big difference, right? Doesn't it look nice? Mm -hmm. 